Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM tutorial. In this video, I am going to talk about Touch UI multi field component and this is the part 1 of this video. So what is Touch UI multi field component? You can see this is the multi field. Uh, multi field has group of fields. Here you can see I have this link where I can define the text, path and color and font size etc. So consider a scenario where you need uh, navigation tab. So there you can have uh, multiple links so you will have the name the link path etc etc so if you have three links so you will define total six fields uh, text field and path browser three times so it is a kind of static it is not dynamic if you want to delete something then you cannot do that that is why we need multi field there so that you can add it dynamically you can also delete uh, to add other fields you can click on add field button and you will get the same appearance of these fields so this way you can delete and add more fields actually out of the box multi field component has some limitations because of which we will use ACS common package ACS stands for Adobe consulting services it is an open source project hosted on github it enhances the existing multi field component and makes it easy to use so let's first download the ACS common package so you can find this link in my description below go to this link and click on here download the aim package click and download this zip file after the successful download go to the aem instance and open the CR crx package manager and install it so click on upload have this acs aem commons package click on ok now install this So here you can see it is installing this package within this apps folder. After successful installation, uh, open the CXD console. Here in this, here in this apps folder, you can find this ACS commons. So before creating a component which will have multi field dialog, we will first set the plot. We will create the demo template and uh, page rendering component first. So go to this apps. Uh, I have this apps website so go to the templates folder here I need to create a template first so create template I am naming it demo template let me name it multi field template uh, multi field template on uh, and in the resource type we have to give a path of page rendering component so I have training uh, components and then I have structure where I will put my page rendering component and I'm naming the component name as page component and give a ranking of one click on next now in the loud path give it slash content uh, this is a regular expression and uh, asterisk question mark click on next click on ok now save this so we have created a template now we'll create the page ending component within this structure and we will name it as a the name was page component so go to the structure right click here create component and name it page component Let me give it the title and the super source type foundation page path. So this is a path of page component and I'm naming a group as AM tutorial. Click on next. Now click on OK. So we have created our page component successfully and here rename this GSP to the HTML. Now open this HTML and there is this and delete this content now go to my github repository you can find the link of this github repository in my description below so go here and click on developer course go to the chapter 10 click on live activity 6 now open this multi field page and copy this code the code is very simple we are having a parses and this is a net.jsp 
so it this component will have only passes now save it so in this process i will drag and drop my component which will have the multi field dialog so to create a page go to the local host 4502 now click on am go to the site console now we will create a page here so click on create select this page multi field template click on next now name it let me name it multi field page now click on create so this will create our page now click on open now here here you can see we got this parses so the plot is set we got the template we got the page generating component so in the next video i will create a component which will have the multi field dialog so that's it for this video so in the next video we will create the component for the multi field so if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching